welcome, welcome, one and all. I'm Swiss, and if you're new to the channel or you haven't yet subscribed, hit that pause button and subscribe. Now, today's video is a retrospective of a recent video entitled An Idiot in Richmond. Most comments I get are positive. Some are critical, and if I don't agree, I will politely state why. But I always try to be empathetic. I encourage comments, especially when they quote correctly the highway code. We can all learn a thing or two, or get tips from others, including myself. However, I was more than a little disturbed at a comment about an idiot I encountered who was cycling around traffic on the wrong side of the road on a tight, narrow, blind corner in rush hour traffic in Richmond. I've removed the commenter's name so as not to ridicule them, but let's break down his comments as they appear in his post. He states, his lane is full of cars and the oncoming lane is completely empty. Well, except it isn't except for the guy wearing a bright white crash helmet on a 200 kilogram weighing motorbike. His next comment, did you expect him to stop and wait for his lane to clear up? Well, that's what he's supposed to do. Did I expect it? No, but I did anticipate it. And I think quite well. But just because I've anticipated it doesn't mean it's okay. And I'll explain why later on. Now, had the comments stopped there, I would have assumed he's laughing at the cyclist and joking with me, well, what do you expect, he's a cyclist, and would have forgotten all about it. But he does carry on. Just because someone has more risk tolerance than you, more testosterone than you, etc., doesn't mean you are right and they are wrong. So let's break it down. More risk tolerance, cycling around a tight corner, on the wrong side of the road, in busy traffic, without being able to see oncoming traffic, does not show more risk tolerance. It shows a complete lack of understanding of risk. The testosterone comment is conjecture, as this person has never met me, but as an ex-rugby player and a competitive road cyclist, it's highly unlikely this comment is correct. It's just insulting. I think the comment is actually confusing testosterone with a lack of intelligence, but let's carry on. You are risk averse, i.e. timid. It is slow, timid people that cause other people to take risks to get past them. Now, I've been called a lot of things in my time, but timid is not one of them. But before we get into analysing the video, let's look at the mechanics of riding a motorbike. A motorbike moving forwards creates a gyroscopic effect from its rotating wheels, meaning that it will tend to keep itself upright and move in a straight line. To turn a corner, the rider has to lean the bike in the direction he wants to go. The common myth is that you turn the bike by turning the handlebars in the direction you want to go. Unfortunately, nothing could be further from the truth. At anything more than a walking pace, turning the handlebars to the right drops the rear of the bike to the left, causing the bike to turn left, and vice versa, turning the bars to the left causes the bike to turn right. Now let's look at the camber of the roads. Roads are designed to facilitate rainwater to run off towards the gutter. This means that roads are higher in the middle and slope down towards the kerb on both sides. The diagram I've put accentuates slightly the road camber to give a clearer perspective. However, Right-hand corners in the UK often tend to have what is referred to as a negative camber, where the road slopes away from the apex of the corner. This means cornering is more difficult in a car, but particularly difficult on a bike travelling at speed. This is because the bike has to lean further against the slope of the surface of the road, and the closer you are to the kerb, the greater the slope you are leaning against. So. With that out of the way, let's get back to the video. I'm going to show it in real time, first of all, so you can get a perspective of the reaction time available. I've cropped the cyclist video against me riding the same road as I would normally ride it. As you can see, my approach to the corner is consistent, out to the left giving me the best view around the corner. Additionally, it gives me more road room to lean the bike into as the clip rolls forwards, you can see the line I normally take on the left. 
The bike starts leaning into the corner. However, on the right, you can see the instrument binnacle is not leaning to the right, but dips to the left as I have to take action to avoid the cyclist. As already stated, this is not a great place to be as the corner has a negative camber and I will have to lean the bike much harder later in the corner against the camber of the road. Now I've stopped the clip to show just how far across I would normally be. There is a mark in the tarmac that runs down the middle of the carriageway between the cycle lane and the white line separating the opposing carriageways. My normal line, I'm to the right of it, whereas versus the cyclist, I'm to the left of the mark. If I take my usual line, I'd hit the cyclist. But because I anticipate the cyclist, apparently that makes me timid. Now, I've previously mentioned the need to lean the bike more against the camber of the road. Just take a look at the angle of the posts and the house in the background. The slope is much more exaggerated on the right video due to the amount I've now had to lean the bike to get round the corner. If I'm in a car, I'm faced with two choices. Either hit the cyclist or swerve round him. Swerving round him could possibly involve mounting the curb and hitting a pedestrian. I am unapologetic when I say the idiot on the bicycle has no idea of risk or what the consequences of his actions could be. And the person commenting on this video has no idea what he is talking about. If you like this video, please hit that like button and stay safe out there.